Hello guys, welcome back to Gujarat Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix No Man's Sky is crashing at startup. It is not launching, it is won't launch or freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen which is happening for many of the users and for me even this did happen so I fixed it somehow. So I'm going to show you some of the possible workarounds so let me directly get into this. So the first one is all about you just need to do a simple restart that is what you have to do for doing a simple restart all you have to do is just have to go over here click on this icon go over here go for a simple restart once after doing with the restart check whether the issue is solved so sometimes you know a simple restart can fix the issue so that is why we're recommending you can try this out as well so uh, that is what you have to do so once after the restart is successfully done, we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we need to verify integrity of game file. This is actually one of the main step. Okay, this is an important step and you should not be forgetting this. So for verify integrity of game file, we just need to click on the game over here. Right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So over here, as you can see, the game is around 12.89 GB. So what happens is if any files are corrupted, and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. Sometimes the issue which I mentioned in the title may be happening because of these reasons. So you should be doing verify integrity of game file. Just wait this to reach 100%. Once after that, try to launch the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. If this is not working, we need to move to the next step. Next step, let this get completed. Next step is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So most probably, every one of us will be launching the game from Steam itself like this. Sometimes that is might be causing an issue. So if that is the case, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For that reason, we have to go over here, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to local file. Now from here, click on browse. So when you do this, you are redirect, redirected to the installation folder. If you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, no man's sky. So we are in the installation folder. This is very simple. Now from here, go to binaries. Now from here, sorry, let me go to this one. Now from here, we need to open the application. So just launch the game from the installation folder. So the step which I mentioned here is actually a shortcut from the Steam. But there is one more method which we need to do. That is, we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using local disk. That means using File Explorer because down the road for the steps like, you know, running the game or dedicated graphics card, we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using this one. For that, just click on local disk C. Now from here, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down to Steam folder, go to Steam apps, now go to common, now from here, keep scrolling down and we need to find no man's key, I mean, sorry, no man's sky, then go to binaries, now from here, launch the game. So try launch the game from the installation folder, most probably that has to be worked. Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator. For that, we just need to click over here, right click and go to properties because we need to go to the installation folder. Let me go to the browse. Now from here, as you can see, I'm at the installation folder. Now open the binaries. Now select the NMS, that is the application. Right click and go to show more options. I mean, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program as an administrator. Select this one, go for apply and go for OK. Now try to play the game. If this is not working, there is one more step which I would like to add that is running the game in the compatibility mode. Right click over here, go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program in compatibility mode. Now you should be selecting this one. And over here, as you can see, there are two options. You can select Windows 7 as the first one. Go for this, go for apply and go for OK. This is not the case. Change this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for OK and try to launch the game both things can be done so after trying this i mean after running the game in the administrator so keep in mind if you're moving to the next step you just need to click over here go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility uncheck this okay when you're moving to the next step just uncheck this one after unchecking this one move to the next step after unchecking this one just move to the next step once after that go for this one go to the next step and try to play the game 
Next one is all about we need to change the Windows language. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Go to over here. Now go to settings. Now from here, make sure go to time and language. Now from here, go to language and region. So some of you guys might be playing the game in any other native language of you. So if that is the case, you need to change the language to English. Make sure the language is English. And also to make sure the country. I am from India, so I have to select India over here. This should be correct. Go back and make to the date and time. Over here, as you can see, the time zone should be automatically selected. Both time zones should be selected. Once after that, go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game and we need to press Alt and Tab together. For that, just click on the play button. At the moment, when you're cl uh, clicking on the play button, just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This did work out for many users. And you have no idea how this did work out, but this did help with many users. You can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. For that, we just need to go over here go to this one go to uh, documents now if you find anything over here named no man's sky if you're saving the game you should be able to see a folder over here so just delete the folder once after that just close everything go back and try to play the game for many users when they deleted this it did work it so you can try this out as well next one we need to allow the game to windows security for that reason we have to go over here in the search now from here go to control panel go to windows defender firewall now go to allow an app for feature through Windows Defender Firewall. From here, we just need to keep scrolling down and we need to navigate to uh, No Man's Sky. You can find No Man's Sky over here. Actually, as you can see, this is already added and both private and public is actually great. So if you don't find it, you can add it manually. For that, just click on allow another app. Go for browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk C. Keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to uh, over here on the steam now go to steam apps now go to common from here go to no man's sky now from here find this just click on this one and add it so here i'll be getting error because it's already added so this is how you can add it by default and once you're added this successfully just close this and try to play the game moving to the next one is all about we need to I unplug all the usb devices and i don't know how but for many uses this did work it for many users the issue is they might be the USB ports will be actually filled with many devices, multiple devices may be connected or controllers may be connected and all these kind of things should be connected. If that is the case, we just need to uh, remove everything. And if you're, if you're trying to play the game with the controller, then what you need to do is just need to remove everything, launch the game after the game is successfully launched, just connect back the controller once again and try to play the game. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search now from here go to system configuration just click on this one go to services go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all go for apply and go for ok and try to play the game most probably this should be worked this need worked for many games you can try this out as well next one we need to uh, disable the steam overlay provide commands in the launch option and we need to close all the overlay application so first one disabling the steam overlay click on the game right click and go to properties now from here under general make sure this is unchecked this should be unchecked and once after that just need to play the game try to do this if after this if it's still not working we need to give the commands in the launch option so over here as you can see we need to commands in the launch option so uh now what you need to do is we just need to give the command that is the command might be like you know the first one dx11 the first command is dx11 try to play the game if this is not working you need to change this to dx12 give the command dx12 and try to play the game if this is not working as well we need to move to the next step so after giving the commands if still not working we need to move to the next step that is all about we need to close overlay application for that we just need to go over here in the start right click and go to uh, task manager now from here as you can see at the top there are many things running in the background so we need to end the task for example there might be some overlay applications as well as overclocking applications which is causing the issue so if you wanted to find the overlay application it comes easy discord like apps comes under this category so select this one right click and go for end the task so you just need to go for end the task for discord and all those things 
and you just need to try to play the game. But this is not an issue. Some of you might be running the overclocking applications like MSI Afterburner, River Tuner, etc., which is one of the main reasons for crashing issue. And if you find anything over here like this, you just need to end the task for it. And once after that, you just need to move to the next step. That is what it's all about. We need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now from here, we need to go to graphics settings. Now from here, we need to go over here. As you can see, I have already added many games. We just need to click on browse. Now go to this PC, go to local disk C. Keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps. Now go to common. Now from here, we just need to go to uh, no Man's Sky. Now from here, go to binaries. Now select this one, add it. So once it is added, that is once it is successfully added, we just need to go over here, keep scrolling down and we need to find it. Go over here, click on option. As you can see by default, this is let windows reside. We need to change this to high performance. Change this to high performance. Go for save and close this and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go for view advanced system setting, go to advanced, go to settings once again, go to advanced once again, go for change. Over here under the virtual memory, if you are selected, automatically manage paging file. If this is selected, uncheck this, set the local disk C, go for custom size, select the initial size and as well as maximum size. So initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is three times the total RAM. So if you don't know how to find the RAM of your computer, go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, go to system, keep scrolling down and navigate to about. From here, we need to find 32 GB is the RAM. Now we need to, we need a calculator. So just go over here, find a calculator. So we need to give the value. 32 GB is the RAM, so I have to uh, type my RAM. So if your RAM is 8, just type 8 and multiply with the constant value 1024. That brings you 32,768. So I have to multiply this with 1.5 because 1.5 times is the total RAM. The initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So copy this and I have to paste it. Now moving to the maximum size, I have to do the calculation once again, 32 GB into 1024. That brings me 32,768. So I have to multiply it with three. That brings me 90,304. So just I need to copy this and I have to paste it, I have to go for OK, then I just have to try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to update the windows. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, go to windows update at the bottom left. Now over here, as you can see, download and install, make sure the windows is up to date and try to play the game as well. Next one is all about, we need to, there is nothing but we just need to update the graphics card. Sometimes that is might be an issue. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA, AMD. I'll be providing the link. So if you just click on the link in the description, that will take you to this page. Here, give the details. That is product type, GeoForce, product series over here, product. Now operating system should be Windows 11. Go for language and everything. Go for start search. Now from here, as you can see, once you go for this, you'll be getting the details over here. So now you'll, sorry, I have to uh, select the product that is so product series and once after that just go for start search and now you'll be able to find the drivers the latest versions if any versions are already there as you can see you'll be able to find like this now the very recently released version that means the latest one is released on march 23 which is 531.41 just download this one and install it on your pc and try to play the game if you're on the amd just go over here go to graphics select everything over here go for submit now from here we'll be getting the options like this if you're on Windows 11 64-bit, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. If you're on Windows 7, download this one. After this, restart your PC in both NVIDIA as well as AMD. If you're updating the graphics card, download this, install it, restart the PC, try to play the game. Most probably the issue has to be fixed. But even if it's still not working, then there is one more step. That is, you need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this. Now from here, just download the respective one. So my PC is of x64, so I have just have to download this one, install this, restart your PC and try to play the game. So these are the possible workarounds you can try. And last and the least one is all about, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game for just go over here, right click and go to manage, uninstall the game. 
But keep in mind, when you're reinstalling it back, you should be installing back from uh, uninstall the game from C and install it back on any other drive. So here I'm having only local disk C, so that is not an issue. But for you, if you're having multiple disks, uninstall the game from C and install it back on any other drive. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.